because why would I? Because I wasn't being the person who I was. So like like it was it was useless. The 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 me that I was in the world had no actual value to me because it wasn't actually me. And so I had no self worth. So I actually didn't care that I was killing myself. I kind of knew it. I was like like I would literally, and I'm not saying this to try and um you know brag, but just to give context, I would literally towards the end of this kind of period of my life when things were getting progressively worse and worse and worse. I would wake up and I'd drink about half a bottle of straight vodka and do a gram of cocaine before I'd even have my morning coffee. That that was how I was starting the day. That's how bad that it got. And I'm a reasonably intelligent guy. And like, I completely understood that that's a pathway to an early grave. You're not going to, you don't live to grow old on that kind of a diet, but I didn't care. Why would I? And it was only when I had something to lose that I cared about more than myself that I had a strong enough impetus to change. Uh, and if, if you don't mind, I'll, I'll kind of, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll keep expanding on it because I think it's useful and we'll go on a good Please. path. So um, I met my partner, Gabby. Uh, she, I was running a business at the time, which in and of itself, I thought it was a business, not really a business, but there's a whole other story. She came to work with the business. At the time, I was living on my office floor. I had nowhere to go. I had no money, you know, all of this kind of stuff. Don't know what she saw in me at the time, but for whatever reason, we fell in love. And all of a sudden, I was like, ah, okay, here's something that is useful to me, like useful in the context of like, I've, I've found someone to love, something that actually gives me joy in my life. Um, that didn't trigger an instant change. I didn't just like fall in love and all of a sudden I'm like a year, two years into the relationship and my abuse had gotten worse and worse and eventually got to the point where she said, hey, look, I can't sit around and watch you kill yourself anymore. So I'm going to go mm-hmm. and if you if you want, like you can, you can like, you you got a, basically you got a choice to make. She didn't say that. She didn't kind of give me an ultimatum, but she said, "I just can't. I can't watch this anymore." Uh, and there's a whole story around that. We were working on a festival site, blah blah blah, all this kind of stuff. But the the, the root of it is that for the first time, I didn't care that I was gonna that I was gonna die. What I cared about was that I was gonna lose Gabby, and that was enough. That was enough of a trigger. And there's a big lesson in that, right? The lesson in isn't like go find your soulmate. The lesson is that you need to be able to find something bigger than yourself because when you're in that modality where you are abusing yourself, you're not in a modality of self-love and self-care. You can say, come on, man, you should be better. You should take better care of yourself. You don't care. You're beyond that. So what you need to do is you actually need to find something that is bigger than you. And that bigger than you is also then going to be tied to a life worth living, right? Because when you're in the modality of abuse and suffering and pain, life is not worth living. You're making that choice. Everyone knows it. Like heroin addicts, they know that they're addicted to heroin. They know what heroin addicts are like. They know where it's going. And so how do you then throw an anchor and hook onto something to create a life worth living? Now, in the first instance, Gabby was that life jacket, right? She was the one that kind of like in that, that was like, okay, I've got something, I've got pulled in an anchor. I've got something to pull on there. And together, we've now gone and crafted a life by design. And, li- and life, like designing a life, life, lifestyle design is something I'm so passionate about because that is actually the outcome of living a path of self-actualization, which we can dig into as well. 